An American company that paid the now indicted FBI informant Alexander Smirnoff in 2020 is connected to a UK company owned by Trump Business Associates in Dubai. According to business filings and court documents, Smirnoff is now accused of lying to the FBI about Hunter Biden and his father, President Joe Biden, alleging that they engaged in a bribery scheme with executives at the Ukrainian energy company. Burisma, Smirnoff's accounts to the FBI, beginning in 2020, that federal prosecutors now say are fabrications, served as a major justification of the House impeachment investigation into the Bidens. Republican lawmakers have repeatedly touted Smirnoff as a reliable informant, and the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, James Comer, even threatened to hold FBI Director Christopher Wray in contempt unless he handed over a June 2020 FBI form with Smirnoff's claims to the committee. Back in 2020, Smirnoff was paid $600, zero by a company called Economic Transformation Technologies at. Prosecutors said that same year, Smirnoff began lying to the FBI about the Bidens, according to the indictment. Its CEO is the American Christopher Condon who is also one of three shareholders in Ed Investment Holding Limited in London. Other shareholders in the UK include Pakistani-American investor Shavel Khan and Farooq R. Jomand, a former chairman and current board member of Damag Properties in Dubai, who is also listed as an advisor on its American website. Last month, Smirnoff was charged with lying to the FBI and is being held without bail. Prosecutors argued he posed a flight risk because of his contacts with Russian officials in the Middle East and access to millions of dollars. Smirnov's indictment alleged that the facts in a document known as a 1023 and other statements made to his FBI handler beginning in 2020 and continuing until December 2023 were factually impossible. The exact business model of Texas-based debt is murky. Its mission statement reads, in part, it set up the chessboard to bring in top-notch executives from those sectors to help implement its vision of love and social impact to improve the quality of human existence through the application of new age technologies. The current CEO, Condon, is a California man who has been involved in several civil lawsuits, including a civil RICO case in 2010 that he won on appeal. Condon's official biography says he is a former professional tennis player, financial advisor, and currently is an entrepreneur focused on social impact projects, public-private partnerships, and creating smart communities that benefit both individuals and governments. Condon, Arjomant, and Con registered at Investment Holding Limited in the UK on the 6th of March 2020. Con, an investor who purchased the Plaza Hotel in 2018 and Arjomand have ties to Donald Trump through Trump Associates and Damic, a major Middle East developer that has partnered with Trump for a decade. Arjomand, Khan and Condon own 34%, 33%, and 33% of Ed Investment Holding Limited, respectively. According to UK business filings, no other information on the UK company is readily available. Former Damic chairman Hussein Sajwani is also close to Trump and has been described as his friend in multiple news reports. Trump has called the billionaire a friend and a great man, and his family the most beautiful people. Sajwani attended Trump's 2016 inauguration, and Trump's sons Donald Jr. and Eric Trump attended the 2017 ribbon cutting of the Trump International Golf Club in Dubai, licensed by Damak in 2014. Sajwani and his family also attended a party in 2017 at Mar-a-Lago. Trump's sons would go on to attend Saiwani's daughter's wedding in 2018. In 2017 FAC filings, Trump disclosed making up to $5 million from the Damic licensing deal, but said he would no longer do personal business deals when he became president. The two continued at least talking business into his presidency, however. According to multiple reports, Hussein, Damak, a friend of mine, a great guy. I was offered to billion dollars to do a deal in Dubai, a number of deals, and I turned it down, Trump said in 2017. 
R. Jomond was the vice chairman of Damek when the Trump International Golf Club, along with adjoining Trump-branded luxury homes, opened. And he replaced Sajwani as chair in 2021 when Sajwani stepped down to privatize the company. Khan, who owns Dubai-based Trinity White City Ventures, is a New York native who partnered with New York City developer Cameron Hakim to buy the Plaza Hotel in 2018 for $600 million. He was a board member of AT from 2019 to June 2020, according to his LinkedIn page, appearing in event photographs with Condon in Miami that year. Khan is involved in a range of business, from I to mining to cybersecurity, according to his official biographies. In 2019, he was one of a dozen Pakistani-American business owners invited to meet the then-Pakistani prime. Minister Imran Khan the day before Imran met with Trump and Mike Pompeo, then the Secretary of State, in Washington, D.C. The group was there to discuss the expansion of business in Pakistan. In 2017, Khan reportedly approached Brad Zaxon, dubbed Paul Manafort's real estate fixer, to help him broker a deal to buy the Roosevelt Hotel in Manhattan, owned by the Pakistani government via its national airline for $500 million, according to The Real Deal. When the real estate publication asked Khan about the reports, he denied that Zaxon and Manafort, a former Trump campaign chairman, were involved. Khan purchased the Pakistani embassy building in D.C. in 2022 for $6.8 meters. Khan is also CEO of Burtek Acquisition Group, a blank check company or public shell company. Patrick Orlando, listed as a special advisor and shareholder of Burtech in 2021, was the CEO and chair of Digital World, another blank check company, from September 2021 to March 2023, when it began a merger with Trump Media Technology Group in 2021. It was held up by an SEC investigation until given the green light last month. The finalization of the merger may garner Trump as much as $4 billion in shares and help bolster his finances after his recent civil litigation losses. Orlando has known Trump since at least 2021, according to news reports. R. Jomond and Khan's relationship is unclear. R. Jomond, a former HSBC banker from the United Arab Emirates, also invests in hospitality businesses, including the celebrity Wahlberg Brothers restaurant chain Wahlbergers and owns a coffee company called Reborn Coffee. An investment holding limited was dissolved in 2021. Condon and Arjomond also registered a company called Atlas A Group Limited the same day they registered the Akat, now dissolved. The American At, then called Pandora Venture Capital Corp., was first registered in Florida in 2014 by Wisconsin resident Boris Nayflish. According to Florida business filings, Ukrainian-American Nayflish is the ex-husband of Smirnov's current partner, according to a Wall Street Journal report, which also claimed Nayflish stayed close to his ex, Diana Lavernyuk, and Smirnov after the divorce. Smirnov, born in Ukraine, lived in Israel before coming to the US in 2006. Pandora changed its name to Skylab in 2017. Then in 2018, Skylab seemed to split from what is now at, according to a lawsuit, when Condon first registered at websites and appeared on Ed's Florida filings. An unnamed former business associate told the Wall Street Journal that the $600 zero payment from Ed to Smirnoff was in exchange for a stake in an Israel-based crypto trading platform called Bit of Trade that Smirnoff was working on launching. Calls and emails to Condon are Jomond, Sajwani and Smirnoff's lawyer, and to Trump's team, were not returned. Khan told The Guardian, I was on the board for a very short period, and there was no connection on my part. Smirnoff is scheduled for a jury trial in April, according to court filings.